love to complain about property taxes, don't you? In Illinois, however, our grumbling about one's property tax bill has been elevated to an art form. State legislators created homestead exemptions to respond to these complaints. Exemptions exclude a portion of the value of one's home from taxation. The largest in Cook County is a $10,000 reduction in home value for owner-occupiers, and there are smaller ones for homeowners who are elderly, disabled, or veterans. But what if I tell you that the exemptions created to provide relief are also one of the causes of high tax bills? That's exactly what my colleagues and I at the Government Finance Research Center found. Exemptions are another case of a policy that provides an individual benefit also threatening the collective good. We modeled the fiscal structure of all Cook County municipalities from a database of each property tax bill paid there in 2021. We compared the municipality's actual finances to a counterfactual scenario without exemptions, and we attribute the delta to this policy. A first finding was that exemptions made a sizable share of the county's tax base, about 13% unavailable for taxation. That amounted to about $1.6 billion in taxes in 2021. Exemptions don't necessarily take these revenues away from local governments. Each municipality, school district, et cetera, sets their budget based on their own expenditure needs. But if you keep budgets at their current levels and remove taxable value, something's got to give. And that something is the tax rate. So a second finding of ours was that exemptions drive up property tax rates. The median increase was 1.4 percentage points, but it varied by municipality. The effects were concentrated in the south suburbs, the part of our region with declining home values that was hardest hit by the foreclosure crisis. In south suburban Park Forest, for example, the tax rate increase due to exemptions was 10 times higher than the median among Cook County municipalities. Even Park Forest homeowners, however, lowered their tax bills when they claim exemptions. But a third finding was that their savings were much less than those stated on their tax bills because of the increased tax rate applied to the portion of their home's assessment not covered by exemptions. We also found that the savings enjoyed by homeowners are shifted onto businesses and rental properties. Although not a problem for wealthier municipalities, in Park Forest, a burden shift can discourage business development and wealth creation. Other downstream effects include landlords raising rents on tenants and beleaguered commercial and industrial property owners pushing for policies that lower their property tax bills. In Illinois, property taxes are a zero-sum game. Like whack-a-mole, if you exempt some owner's property values, the tax rate floats up to meet the levy and others pay. Property tax relief is also a dangerous game when implemented on a playing field that is far from level. Thank you.